interesting fact about placenta accreta is that its incidence has increased dramatically over the past few decades, uh, mainly due to, of course, rising rate of cesarean deliveries. In the 90s, in the 1980s, when I just began as a doctor, as a cardiologist, uh, placenta accreta was considered rare, occurring in about 1 in 4,000 births. Today, depending on the population studied, the rate is closer to 1 in 500 pregnancies. This is a striking example of how medical interventions, while life-saving, can create new clinical challenges. Placenta accreta occurs when the placenta touches too deeply into a uterine wall and it serves severe forms. Severe forms, it's an increta or percreta. percreta. It may in invade the myometrium or even neighboring organs like the bladder. Uh, what makes this condition especially dangerous is that the placenta can detach normally after delivery, leading leading to catastrophic postpartum uh, hemorrhage, bleeding. So it cannot detach normally, you understand? Yes, leading to catastrophic bleeding, of course, postpartum. In fact, placenta crit is one of the leading indications for peripartum hysterectomy worldwide. For exam purposes, and not only for exams, remember the key risk factors. Previous cesarean section, section placenta previa, uterine surgery, and advanced maternal age, 35+. plus. The more cesarean deliveries uh, a patient has had, of course, the higher we've got risk. No higher risk. Uh, for example, after one caesarean, risk of accreta is less than 1%, but after four or more, the risk may exceed the 60% when placenta previa is also present. Clinical, uh, clinically, diagnosis is best made uh, attend, uh, antenatally with ultrasound and sometimes MRI. Identifying placenta accreta before delivery is crucial because management requires a multidisciplinary approach, you know, of course, obstetricians, anesthesiologists, urologists, etc., etc. Delivery is usually planned by caesarean, caesarean hysterectomy, unfortunately, 34, 36 weeks before labor begins in a center when we actually massive transfusion capability. So the take-home message, placenta accreta is becoming more common due to rising caesarean rates it carries life-threatening risks and the best outcomes come from anticipation and planning rather than emergency management. So why is the surgeon always calm during a C-section? Because he knows that no matter what goes wrong, he can always say, well, at least this is aren't my labor pains.